This is Paul. Yeah. <laughs> you know those FDI ins IC insured uh, banks? Yeah. <laughs> Could you get me every IP address of all their overnight lenders? <laughs> you know the overnight deposits where you're getting paid 0.25% to lend money from an American bank to a foreign bank? Yeah. So they can pay you the interest at 0.25% annually, yes, <laughs> uh, divided by 365. Now, we might do a guesstimation about the exact amount of money you're making off of those deposits. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of overnight lending, yes, when you don't get paid more than 5% a year. <laughs> but somehow I think there exists, all right, a satellite system, yes, that you said was for... Uh, the monitoring of vaults, yes, in the event of a power outage, <laughs> they could actually be the global banking satellite system for overnight lending. Oh, so when you look at the actual overnight deposits, right, and then the IP addresses of each and every place where an FDIC insured bank had lent their deposits, yes, then you look at the actual IP addresses, the identities of the individuals that have been on their web pages and websites. <laughs> Why don't you get me their satellites? Because when that power went out, I really started to thinking about it. Yes. Now, um, again, this is a program I've followed. Right. Now, for all of you that thought that I was attempting to contact the petitioner that didn't sign the protection order, yes, I wasn't. Oops. I had actually emailed my whole contact address, <laughs> contacts, um, all of the contacts that I had in my Gmail account. <laughs> and uh, the King County Administrator on December 31st had obstructed every email. Yes. All of them failed, but for some weird reason, somebody, yes, had allowed for me to contact the former Attorney General Eric Holder, yes, and my wife, <laughs> because on that same day, they made up a crime where I wasn't in Squim, Washington. Oh, <laughs> I was on the bus that morning, and I was in the Port Angeles Library that evening. <laughs> You know, when you intentionally obstruct a person's right to communicate with law enforcement because you're the King County Administrator, you decided that you were going to cause every email to fail on December 31st. I can prove that I emailed approximately, well, it must have been four to 5,000 email addresses. I wasn't attempting to contact oops, the petitioner, yes through an email that said, get me every IP address in the world. I was attempting to find out why it is that my emails, see, there's approximately 2,260,000 emails. Yeah. And of those, probably six to 700,000 have been obstructed. Now, when you think of this whole depriving people of their rights, it could be the sheriff's department right now. The fact that we are holding hearings shows that there are many serious concerns that have yet to be satisfactorily addressed. Yes. Now, uh, let me yield to the ranking member. Mm -hmm. Now, just looking at this, okay, who is it that uh, happened to be the King County Administrator? Yes. And how was it that they obstructed all my emails on December 31st, <laughs> except for the email that I sent to myself? Oh, in the four years since Dodd-Frank, not one single person who fabricated or contributed mm -hmm, to the greatest financial crisis since the Great Depression has been prosecuted. <laughs> I'm feeling a similar, well, frustration in that I'm wanting to prosecute the Sheriff's Department. Yes, the Police Department, coach. Every elected oath of office, yes, all mandatory reporters, <laughs> for the knowledge of the fraud of issuing court orders where there's forgery, yes, there's fraud, pooch, there's no due process to myself. <laughs> now, not one person has served as an example to those who would prey <clears throat> upon vulnerable members of society. <laughs> I feel like I've been the prey, yes, as in you have preyed upon me as a vulnerable homeless man right now. I'm going to sue for every fucking thing you own, do you understand? Now this shit, mm -hmm. 
about well nobody's been prosecuted for the greatest financial crisis since the great depression low-income minorities and the elderly targeted with predatory loans which were then packaged and sold on wall street mm -hmm. when they become when they became underperforming loans yes these securities became worthless <laughs> now um and all of this taking place at the time when the United States Supreme Court, our activist Supreme Court, bestowing corporations, rewarding corporations with the rights that people have, oh, citizens united, the First Amendment right to freedom of speech has been conferred upon corporations. Now this is interesting, and now with the Hobby Lobby decision, we have corporations with a religious right, which First Amendment right to freedom of religion to practice their religion. Mm -hmm. But I know of no corporation that's gone to church, yeah. paid tithes, ooch, listened to the sermon, mm -hmm. went out and acted like a Christian. I know of no corporation that's ever been to jail for operations. No corporation's ever been placed in jail, but yet uh, they have the same rights that we have. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, I have done a little study on corporations and the availability of prosecuting them, just as if they were individuals. <laughs> now, um, mm, 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 mm. Uh, this F-I-R-R-E-A, the critical tool, mm -hmm. prosecuting illegal conduct, yes. Um, I'm kind of thinking, okay, just going through it. Mm -hmm. Uh, these Ponzi schemes, yes, knowingly facilitating fraud, yes, the fraud of issuing court orders. Mm -hmm. I think the sheriff's department needs to go to prison. Oh. I think the police department needs to go to prison. Mm -hmm. I think judges and justices of each and every state of the United States need to go to prison. And each and every bank that has uh, contributed to this whole concept of the way that we're going is... Yes. Let's say you're an employee, you're a member of the Bankers Association, you're a bank manager. In fact, why don't you give me the bank managers of every local branch of every bank in this county? Yes. Jefferson County, Powell, oh, state of Washington, oh, oh, oh. Now, you decided that you would money launder, yes, that you would uh, have unauthorized debiting of consumer accounts, yes. Because somebody had to pay for the illegal activity of of you having a look-alike so you could stay home instead of go to work. Ouch. Ouch. Well, let's look through the employees of every FDIC insured account <laughs> everywhere in the nation for the last 40 years. Yes. And then give me the actual employees of all the overnight <laughs> borrowers that borrow the deposits of the FDIC insured accounts of every bank in the United States. I just want to know their actual identity. Yes. GPS, their personal residence. Get me their email address. And <laughs> I just want to know what they're doing right now. <laughs> because if I find out, okay, <laughs> that any employee of any bank of the United States of America... <laughs>